Nice lake effect. Call or text in to 440-940-6615 to request songs. These days, learning never ends, and college really matters. So more people than ever are going to Lakeland Community College. People of every age are trying to learn something new, and Lakeland is for everyone. High school graduates just starting out, people trying to get good jobs or just trying to improve themselves. At Lakeland, it's never too late to learn. It's our college. In Lake County, opportunity starts here at Lakeland. Hey, Lakeland students. Pick up the latest issue of the Lakelander student newspaper to stay up to date with what's happening around campus. The Lakelander will keep you informed and entertained with all the latest campus news, music, reviews, political commentary, and everything in between. Earn a bachelor's or graduate degree close to home through Lakeland's Holden University Center. Choose from a variety of degree programs from nine Ohio colleges and universities. Taking classes your first few years at Lakeland will save you thousands. Register online for the Holden University Center Partnership Fair, Tuesday, April 12th from 4 to 6. Learn more at lakelandcc.edu slash uc. Lakeland's Holden University Center. Stay here. Go far. Textbooks on reserve at Lakeland Library. Select textbooks are not available for students to check out and use the library. Donations of current textbooks to the textbook on reserve. Programs are encouraged from instructors and students. If your textbook is not currently available in the library, please contact your instructor to provide a copy of their textbook for the Textbook on Reserve program. For more information on the library-initiated Textbook on Reserve program, please call 440-525-7424. The internet is, for some, becoming an uncontrollable compulsion. The internet is infected. Spreading the infection at Livestream.com forward slash Lake Effect Radio. The library hours for the spring semester are Monday through Thursday, 8 a.m. to 9 p.m., Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m., Saturday, 9 a.m. to 1 p.m., and closed on Sunday. We will also be closed January 18th, February 12th, March 12th, and May 14th. Call 440-525-7424 for more information. For the sixth year, Lakeland has been designated as a military-friendly school by GEI Jobs Magazine. The list honors Lakeland as one of the top 15 colleges, universities, and trade schools, which do the most to embrace America's student veterans and ensure that they succeed on campus. Lakeland is also a Service Members Opportunity College approved by the State Approving Agency for Veterans. Lakeland's inclusion on the 2015 list of military-friendly schools was based on a criteria such as class flexibility, which includes evening classes, online classes, and weekend classes. Also, military-specific support services ability for veterans groups and networking. Attention Lake Tran Riders! Starting on May 2nd for at least next two years, Lake Tran will be going back to Saturday fixed routes. This means on Saturdays, routes 1 through 6 are slated to run from 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. For more information on these changes, please contact Lake Tran at 440-350-1012. That is 440-350-1012. Lake Effect Radio! Check us out at twitter.com backslash Lake Effect Radio for upcoming events, interviews, and much, much more. Hey Lakeland, the library has a new display called Beyond the Book, Technology and the Library. Thinking about buying an iPad, Kindle, Nook, laptop, or digital camera? You can try one out at the library. Is your phone dead? Need to recharge it? Stop by Lakeland Library and use our charging stations. Do you have a group project? Visit the high-tech collaboration space that is perfect for group study. Lakeland Library, a space to explore. For more information on the library display, call 440-525-7424. This one empty bottle is way too heavy to take to the recycle can right outside my classroom. Are you terrified of having interviews? Don't worry, Lakeland will be hosting an interview workshop. You can learn what to say, how to say it, so they say you're hired. Seating is limited, so hurry up and register at careers.lakelandcc.edu or call 440-525-7222. It'll be hosted on Friday, February 5th from 10 a.m. to noon in room A1039. That's Friday, February 5th, 10 a.m. to noon in room A1039. This is Lake Effect Radio. Be sure to watch us live on www.livestream.com slash Lake Effect. And hello, Lakeland Community College. I am DJ Grizzly with Assistant General Manager Tim Pringy and General Manager Jeremiah. Wise. And this is the Bearded Gentleman Project. 
Yes, that is my new whatever. Okay. Okay. Anyway, uh, gonna be talking some Super Bowl because of course that's the big that's the big thing that happened over the past weekend. And tell you me like yesterday. Well, true, but also it's over the weekend, is it not? Yeah, but weekends in two days. <laughs> Anywho, technicality. Yeah, technicalities. Lies. So. Uh, so of course Denver Broncos won. It, it was like, oh, if you, it's not really spoilers. There's a lot of whatever. It was like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and give you the Super Bowl. No. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, Broncos won 24-10. It w- and the Broncos, they, they made a, they just put on a clinic defensively, from the looks of it. And and Cam Newton definitely did not know what the heck was going on. The first thing I was saying to my parents yesterday, I was watching the game, was Cam has never faced a defense like Denver. Correct. He showed it, too. Oh, yeah. yeah. I think he was – Cam Newton looked very upset. Yes. Just because of the fact that he – like, the last game that they played, they won handily. Yes. Like, there was, there was nothing that said this was going to be a close game. It was just, hey, <coughs> hey – were like the like Denver had like Denver's defense. Of course, they were ranked number one, but you're looking at a Carolina offense that has destroyed defenses all year. They were the number one scoring offense this pa- this past year, and just like Cam Newton had no answer for any of Denver's pass rush. The pass rush against Pey- against uh, Cam. Cam Newton. Was intense. Mm -hmm. Like, Von Miller, who won MVP, like, he had a few sacks, had forced a fumble, and it forced, yeah, forced at least one. Yeah, two fumbles. Forced two fumbles. He, he, like, him and DeMarcus Ware, the tandem outside linebackers, they wreaked havoc on the offensive line all night. And... You and it and you could tell that it was getting to Cam Newton by the very end of the game. He was just like, "Why?" Like, he, uh, he was it. Von yeah. Miller who had forced the fumble, the second fumble of his, and Cam yeah. Newton looked like he was going to die for it, and oh, decided yeah. not to. And then just like waited, and then dove for it. Yeah, like by the end of the game, you could tell Cam Newton was not having it. And, and I'm just like interested on your thoughts about. Denver's defense. I honestly think that Von Miller may not have been the MVP in my opinion. Oh really? Like who? Who would you, like? T.J. Ward. T.J. Ward. Okay, go with the former Brown. Yeah. Never, well, not only is he a former Brown, he picked Newton off on a pass that I forget what who who Newton was throwing to. I think it was yeah. Ginn across the middle, yeah. completely overthrew Ginn, or Ginn yeah. couldn't catch it. And Newton and a. War comes up with the fumble or the interception. I think he recovered one of the fumbles too. And he recovered the second fumble. Yeah, he recovered the second fumble at the seven. Yeah, so it was. Let, t- let's just put it this way: you could have put the MVP as the entire yes. Denver defense, and yes. and there would have been no complaints whatsoever from anyone. So, then of course you also have the whole Peyton Manning thing. Mm-hmm. Peyton Manning, like. For all intents and purposes, <coughs> over this past week, it looked like this was going to be his final game. Yeah. And I, I would say, even though he never mentioned it, uh, like on the, on, the, on the show or like on the post-game, post-game. during his post-game reviews, you know he's done. Have you read his body language? Yeah, oh, yeah. He's done. Yeah, and, and also they were, there were talks over the entire week about how at the end of the, like it was like there was meetings the entire week, and apparently from some of the interviews you have that you didn't need to know that Peyton Manning was going to retire. His body language told you this was going to be it. Mm-hmm. And I mean, congrats to Peyton. With that Super Bowl victory, he becomes the winningest quarterback In NFL ever history. with two hundred postseason and regular season wins. Which passed Brett Favre, I believe. Was it Brett Favre? I think it was. Yeah, it was Brett Favre had one ninety nine. I think it was Favre. Yeah. So, so congrats to Peyton, and to, just as his character showed, he 
he was not going to let talks of retirement get to him. Mm-hmm. He talked about how all I want to do right now is hold my kids and kiss my wife and just go home. Because that's the type of person I see him being. Mm-hmm. All, all the, like He might take a year or two off. If he, if he does retire, I'll go ahead and say if he retires. It's likely that he is. He just won a second Super Bowl. He's nearly done. If he, if he retires, I think he'll take like a year or two off, mm-hmm. much like Urban Meyer did. Like Urban Meyer, like, sure. when he got out of coaching at Florida, he was just like, I, mm-hmm. I'm done for right now. I want to spend time with my family. And I think Peyton will do that, and then he'll see talk say about an analysis thing, like just like because my mom and I were talking about it while we were uh, watching Pro Bowl the Pro Bowl last week. Peyton Manning with John Gruden for Monday Night Football analysis yeah. that Mike Tirico would not be able to get a word in edgewise. <laughs> he like. He, he would literally just be sitting there just like, oh, here's supposed to be a play call and he's not going to be able to get the play call in because Peyton and John will just be going off. It, it's an amazing thought that that could happen. Will Peyton be a head coach one day? I. Th- that's the thing. Is, do we, like, is Peyton going to or will some team have to be Peyton, we're going to offer you an o- like. Because there's a quarterbacks coach, offensive coordinator. Mm-hmm. Would he take any of those before becoming a head coach? He's not going to go and be a head coach right off the bat. Come on. Yeah. Well, I, I know that. But I'm wondering if somebody would give that type of thing to Peyton Manning as a head coach. He just picked apart one of the most explosive offenses in the NFL. Yeah. And and teams that everyone thought they were going to get stomped. Yeah. So. Yeah, like Bill, as Bill Polian said during the past week, every single number points to the Panthers winning. Mm-hmm. Whether it's the fifteen and one record, the defense, the offense, Cam Newton, like anything, it pointed to Carolina. However, you do not keep, leave out the heart of Peyton Manning mm-hmm. to say. I want this. And and Peyton Manning proved it. All right. Now. Hey, here you go. Here, Von Miller. Six okay. tackles, 2.5 sacks, not including two fumbles. Force yeah, fumbles, yeah. not including two hits on a quarterback. The yeah. TJ Ward's his stuff. It's not as impressive. Right. I would give it to him. Yeah, Von I would have given Von Miller that. Like. I, I would also understand if they wanted to give Peyton Manning the thing, but it's like he didn't deserve mm-hmm. it at that point. No. The defense shown. Peyton Manning did not score a touchdown. And actually, a uh, re- recent stat I just uh, read, the Denver Broncos had 194 total yards of offense. That Nobody, no team had ever won a Super Bowl when having less than 200 yards of offense. Well, not only that, I think they were 1 for 14 on third down. Yeah. It was, it was a defensive stand, to say the least. Mm-hmm. This was a very defensive-minded game, which I which I loved. So, just just watching two defenses that are amazing at what they do, go at it. And while I would understand if they had done a thing for Peyton Manning, saying, "Hey, we want to give you this because you are the like, you are our most valuable player," just because. This is Super Bowl 50, and this is just one song. I would have understood. He wouldn't have deserved it, but I would have understood easily that, that, that that's what they wanted to do. All right. So after we want to go to a commercial, and then we can talk commercials from Super Bowl. Because I know that's what Jeremiah yeah. here was mainly focusing on. So I do have one more thing to talk about with okay. the Panthers, though. Okay, go ahead. What in the world was Cam Newton thinking post-game? All right, that, that, that is something I kind of wanted to bring up, too. He just lost what is easily the most important game of his life. Of his life. Yeah. And everybody was just like, hey, why'd you lose? Hey, why'd you lose? Hey, how about this? This made you lose. And Cam Newton, I can understand why he would tire yeah. of that. It's just a whole bunch of people coming at him 
for like because he just won the most valuable player of the NFL, and then the and then Denver's defense showed he's not the most valuable player at all. All of us are the most valuable player. Yes, and that, and I think the like the general media fails to acknowledge that football is still a team game. Right. While while you can have the best player, it takes the group of players overall to accomplish the Super Bowl. Mm-hmm. And Denver proved that they have the best assortment of team players on the field last night. Did, and you, did you have any did you pick Carolina at the beginning of the season to even make it to the Super Bowl? Nobody did. Yeah, like, exactly. I'm pretty, I'm pretty sure I like there uh, if we could look back and see what the the bet was for Carolina to make the Super Bowl, some people made a lot of money. Yeah. Going into this season cuz like weren't they like near 500 last year and and they made it to a Super Bowl at 15 and 1. Nobody really would have called that. Mhm. So so but like the thing about Cam Newton, losing the biggest game of your career when everybody expects you to be great. That takes a toll on you. Mm-hmm. And I think that's kind of what happened with Peyton Manning over his, fir- over his first few years. Because mm-hmm. he won five MVPs and had only one Super Bowl to show for it. I think Peyton Manning would understand. And while it... Like, I'm not, I don't remember the, any of the post-game conferences after Peyton Manning had lost a conference championship game after being MVP. Right. But I do know that he likely said, okay, I'm going to do this interview. I'm going to do this conference and be good. I'm not sure what happened with Cam. I think his competitive spirit overcame him quite a bit. Yeah. And, and it looks like the media got all on him, and he was like, I don't want to deal with this. I want to go home and sulk just for myself. I don't need you to help me with it. And I think I think that was the biggie, was that it's just like trying to cope with it after such a large defeat that yeah. got to him. All right. Uh, now it's time for a break. Now we can go to a break, and then we'll come back with commercials. Once again, you're listening to the Bearded Gentleman Project. I am DJ Grizzly with Assistant General Manager Tim and General Manager Jeremiah. This is Lakeland's Lake Effect Radio and streaming live on www.livestream.com slash Lake Effect. Call or text in to 440-940-6615 to request songs. My opportunity in respiratory therapy began at Lakeland. And now I'm your respiratory therapist. My dream career began in the Adult Accelerated Program at Lakeland. Now I'm a financial analyst. My career in special education started here at Lakeland, and today I counsel adults with special needs in our community. Find your dream career. It starts at Lakeland. Lakeland Community College. Opportunity starts here. Visit lakelandcc.edu. This one empty bottle is way too heavy to take to the recycle can right outside my classroom. The Lakeland Veterans Support Program assists veterans, guardsmen, reservists, active duty, and military families to make a smooth and successful transition into Lakeland Community College while supporting success in their educational goals and linking them to veterans and service member benefits. Lakeland awards college credit for military experience. Military veterans who would like to learn more about college credits and the benefits of starting college at Lakeland should call 440-525-7246. Additional resources for veterans can be found at lakelandcc.edu slash veterans. For a low fee of $15, a thorough and educational full mouth cleaning along with dental care instruction, any needed x-rays and a fluoride treatment can be completed for you at the LCC Dental Hygiene Clinic. The clinic is located on the ground floor of the 8th building and is open to all interested adults and children in the community. Call 440-525-7220 or stop in to make an appointment today. Be sure to watch us live on www.livestream.com. 
Earn a bachelor's or graduate degree close to home through Lakeland's Holden University Center. Register online for the Holden University Center Partnership Fair Tuesday, April 12th from 4 to 6. Learn more at lakelandcc.edu slash uc. Ride Lake Tran free with your student ID. For more information, visit www.laketran.com or call 1-888-LAKE-TRAN. We live in a disposable society. Yes, yes. It's easier to throw things out than to fix them. We even give it a name. We call it some recycling. Official broadcaster of the world. Really gets his teammates involved. Pass hooked back and number up and good. Barajal runs up a shot, missed it, rebound Mary. And the Cavaliers fire and score. Beyond waiters. Down you good. Lakeland Library is partnering with Lee, Lake Geauga Educational Assistant Foundation, and Lakeland's Financial Aid Office in providing assistance to students working out to complete their FAFSA forms. A representative of Lee will be available in the library on February 2nd, 10 a.m. to 2, February 9th, 11 a.m. to 1, and 1.15 to 6, February 16th, 11 a.m. to 6 p.m., February 23rd, 11 a.m. to 6, March 1st, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m., and March 8th, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Assistance is available on a walk-in basis. For more information, please call 440-525-427424 for more information. Come watch the Lakeland basketball team as they take on Cincinnati State at Lakeland Community College on February 20th. The women start at 1 p.m. and the men start at 3. You can listen on www.livestream.com slash Lakeland's Lake Effect Radio. Are you a single mom? If you are, there's a program called SMART, or Single Mothers Achieving Real Triumph. SMART is a support networking and scholarship program which helps single mothers achieve academic success. The requirements, you must participate and be a new student either in your first or second semester in college, have demonstrated financial need, or attend uh, colleges on Tuesdays and Thursdays, at least six credits, and you must be available to attend workshops. Students must be enrolled in English 0111 or English 1111 to participate. This is an on-campus daytime program and some of the program benefits are you can gain access to resources which are available to students that you might not otherwise know about, acquire skills to help you interact effectively with instructors and college personnel, and meet weekly for support and networking. If you're interested in this program, give a call to the Women's Center at Lakeland Community College at 440-525-7322 or email vwilliams at lakelandcc.edu. Hello, children of Lakeland Community College. This is Jesse from Nightwolf. Check us out, facebook.com forward slash Nightwolf, N-E-O. Keep on rocking around the clock tower. All right, and welcome back. Uh, we just got confirmation from Jeremiah, who looked up the odds about what would happen before the like the prop bets for who would make the Super Bowl. And the Panthers were 60 to 1 odds to make the Super Bowl to start this past year, yep. so if you like, if you you probably made a you made a good amount of money on that. Uh, and well, the Seahawks were nine and two. Yeah, Seahawks were nine to two. Yeah, and then uh, you're talking about how the Browns were one hundred to one and two hundred to one to get the Super Bowl. Yeah, yeah. Go Browns! Woo! All right. Anyway, uh, next thing we want to talk was commercials. Because one part of the Super Bowl is always the game. The other part is the commercials. The commercials this year, for a 30-second clip, it was $5 million. That's, that's insane when you think about it. And then there's people like Doritos who are like, Hey, fans, go out and make this commercial for us. And, like, and yeah, he had the expense there. Yeah. And I only remember two of the Doritos commercials. I'm not sure if there are extra ones. But the, there was the two that were 
the wife was – I want to say the wife. I'm going to just say the wife mm-hmm. was uh, about to give birth, and the baby on the sonogram was moving around with the husband's, like, moving a Dorito ship around. And then the wife throws the chip away, and then the baby mm-hmm. pops out. And that's – yeah. Like, that was – I would say that's a very – it's raunchy, but it's very Doritos at the same time. It stood out to many people. Yeah. And then the, there was the other Doritos commercial, which was the three dogs trying to get their, <laughs> themselves a bag of Doritos. Because they, they had to have the one that's very raunchy and then the one that's also very cute. That's a very Doritos thing to just have both of those. And the idea, I think, behind the Doritos commercials now is, which Doritos commercial do you want to be spammed with, with for the next full year? Because that's what happened with the When Pigs Fly commercial from last Super Bowl was that that was spammed at us mm-hmm. from Doritos. I just hope it's not Mountain Dew. Uh, yeah. The the Mountain Dew Kickstart commercial. Which one was that? I don't think I caught that one. Uh, that was the Puppy Monkey Baby commercial. I didn't Not catch it. Including the creepy guys at first dancing. Mm. I the, mean, that would just scream Creepsville on many levels. Oh, yeah. Like, like the whole... Like, when I saw that commercial to start with, I'm like, what LSD stuff is this? Yeah. Because, like, I, mean, you, like we, I think we might remember the Super Bowl commercial from Mountain Dew Kickstart last year, which had, like, the talking deer. Oh. That, like, the talking deer head that was just like, hey, Mountain Dew Kickstart. And then, like, they were doing all the dancing and, like, the break dancing and whatnot. This commercial had... Like, Jeremiah and I are very different on this one. Because after, afterwards, all I could do was just say, Puppy Monkey Baby. And just, just go, just go, keep going with that. It I was rather extremely it. catchy, in my case. So catchy, in fact, that today, I actually went out and got myself a Mountain Dew Kickstart from that commercial. Which Should was we fire him? One. Have it bought one, still don't want to buy one. Yeah, I know. Should we fire him, Jeremiah? I, I figured I figured it was just fun. Just because. It was, like, it was a weird marketing program. Steph says you're fired. Okay, Stephanie says it I'm fired. It would just All be right. better for them to just take $5 million, put it out there, burn it. Yeah. You know, that would have been more entertaining. Yeah. And, uh, and then what other commercials did... Like, all right, so there's also the Toyota commercial. Yeah, the Toyota the Prius commercial. And this entire time, it was, all right, so it was four guys find a Prius and, like after a bank robbery, wasn't it? Something like that, yeah. Yeah. And they grab a Prius, and then the cops were like, they're in a Prius. This yeah. shouldn't be too hard. We can't catch them. <laughs> we can't catch the Prius. And then at the, the like, the post game, like the po- post Super Bowl, there was another one with the police officers then eventually painting up a Prius to look like a police car. And it was a like that was a 90 second commercial apparently for Toyota. So that's 15 million dollars that they spent on oh the police can't catch a Prius. I'm not it was like it doesn't make me want to go out and buy a Prius yeah. necessarily. But and then there are also some other ones that were very why? Like Opioid induced constipation. One of the ones that I like the I don't forget which beer company it was, but they had the, the comedian gal just come on and completely, oh, yeah, <coughs> just come on completely annihilate everybody. Yeah, there was there like there were a few commercials that were like really good that it stood out to me. Like the Doritos ones always do. There's always the Jeep ones that are more heartfelt. Like hey. This like this is you know a big deal for us or well Honda, especially yeah. with the talking lamb. Singing. Oh yeah, the the one that was singing uh, somebody to love. I, yeah. I I don't know like we I don't know who it was necessarily, but my guess was that it was Adam Lambert because he was pegged as the person to replace uh, Paul Rogers for the Queen tours. Mm. Maybe. And he and and it, uh, <coughs> Adam Lambert's the one who would like to be able to hit those notes. And my sister was saying. It makes sense because also it was a uh, a voice that she recognized easily. Mm. So, 
Michael says that, that was Animal Library. That was also a really good commercial because it was for Honda Ridgeline, their like truck line. Yeah. So, and and you don't hear much about the Honda Ridgeline. It's a truck from Honda, whatever. That put some eyes on it. So, cool. Oh, well, uh, their Civics they last for nearly forever. No. Yeah. So. What other commercials did you guys see that popped into your eyes? That I you never were, realized yeah. Arnold had so many enemies. <laughs> 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 yeah, that's another biggie. Uh, another one that I actually I actually posted on my Facebook page, just like, what am I watching? Yeah. Was the, I'm not sure if anybody else remembers, but there was the uh, Norton Furniture Guy. There was like, uh, oh, which commercial was that? Uh, it was a, it was a, to- like, all right, so he, like, it was just like, you know, Norton Furniture. I'm like, okay, this is different. I guess it's a local commercial. I haven't seen the Norton Furniture Guy in a while. Mm-hmm. And, and then I, like, I go back to doing my test for my uh, current issues and criminal justice course. And then I look back up and he's holding a taco. And he's saying, "My name is Mark, and you can count on it." And then it's and then the like the little Taco Bell gong oh, goes yeah. off, and I'm like, "What? Mark Norton from Norton Furniture is doing Taco Bell commercials <laughs> in the same style as the Norton Furniture ones? What? What? Why?" Like I'm not like I'm pretty sure that's just like a localized thing the Norton Furniture commercials, but it's like, how does that happen that M- Norton from Norton Furniture gets a five million dollar spot? Yeah. So, uh, Tim, <coughs> what other uh, commercials popped in? I think we've here? covered pretty much all of them for now. Okay. Like there, like there was the other heartfelt ones that, like, like let's see, there was the cheap commercials. Of course, there was uh, Audi. There was the Audi commercials. Uh, or the Audi commercial with uh, the former astronaut who uh, ha- wants to relive his past and gets to ride in the Audi R8, which is the high-performance Audi for the Audi line. Yeah. And and he's ta- and the idea is supposed to be it's like a rocket ship, and it looks really cool. Of course, I'm not going to be able to buy an Audi R8. Mm-hmm. I'm doing this radio station for a living, so <laughs> for my own fun. Anyway, lies. Hmm? Nothing. Sure. No. Okay. okay. Nothing. Nah. Uh, like if this gets put up on YouTube, I'll watch it and see what 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 lies I'm talking about. Anyway, uh, so like there's, but there's like you have the heartfelt commercials and the outrageous commercials, and it always seems that people remember the outrageous commercials. Yes. Rather than the that. more heartfelt ones. Dude. Mountain Dew was scarring. <laughs> yeah, the, like the Mountain Dew one scarred you. We know that. So, just why do you believe that the most more outrageous ones are the ones that get more play overall? They're the ones that people will remember more. In my personal opinion. Why? Like, like you should be able to say, I remember this Jeep commercial because it says this like. The whole American dream type thing. I mean, it was like, it's a Jeep. Some commercials stand out more up with some people than others. Like if you have a Toyota already, like I do, mm-hmm. watching the Prius commercial, I'm like, of course, I, like I said, I'm a little biased toward Toyota because yeah. I have a Toyota. Mm-hmm. I've been driving one. But I agree with Jeremiah on the Mountain Dew commercial. I yeah. could go without seeing it for the rest of the year and I wouldn't, it wouldn't bother me any. Yeah, I know. Like That's the same thing with me is that I, I, I could go pretty much... Like I, I could go a few months without seeing it, but I'd still remember the Puppy Monkey Baby, just because it was so weird, so out there, that if I saw it just once in a three month period, I'll be like, I remember that, from that Super Bowl. It was the wrong kind of weird. Oh yeah, like uh, like that's the same thing with yeah. the other Mountain Dew Kickstarter commercial from last year though. Was oh. that was very weird? Why is that on my TV screen? Well, the one thing that surprised me, and I'm, I don't know if it's because we're in Ohio and we don't have primaries or anything coming up, mm. but we didn't have a, I didn't see a single political ad. Yeah, that's yes! really biggie. I'm perfectly happy with that. No political ads. All right. Anyway, uh, do we want to go to a com- yes. commercial break? Yeah. <laughs> and then we'll figure out something to talk about for the 
Next. Well, I got to get ready for counseling appointment, right. so I'm going to have yep. to take okay, off. Okay, you go ahead, Tim, and we'll be back shortly. Once again, you're listening to Lakeland's Lake Effect Radio and streaming live on www.livestream.com slash Lake Effect. Watch us live at www.livestream.com slash Lake Effect. Now you can earn bachelor's and graduate degrees close to home through Lakeland Community College's Holden University Center. Choose from a variety of degree programs at seven Ohio colleges and universities. Taking classes your first couple of years at Lakeland will save you thousands. Register online for a Holden University Center general information session held the last Wednesday of each month. Learn more at lakelandcc.edu slash uc. Lakeland's Holden University Center. Stay here. Go far. For the sixth year, Lakeland has been designated as a military-friendly school by GEI Jobs Magazine. The list honors Lakeland as one of the top 15 colleges, universities, and trade schools, which do the most to embrace America's student veterans and ensure that they succeed on campus. Lakeland is also a Service Members Opportunity College approved by the State Approving Agency for Veterans. Lakeland's inclusion on the 2015 list of military-friendly schools was based on a criteria such as class flexibility, which includes evening classes, online classes, and weekend classes. Also, military-specific support services ability for veterans groups and networking. Come watch the Lakeland basketball teams as they take on Edison at Lakeland Community College on February 6th. The women start at 1 and the men start at 3. You can listen on www.livestream.com slash Lakeland's Lake Effect Radio. For one-on-one -on -one personal research assistance, make an appointment with a Lakeland librarian. Lakeland librarians offer personal help with research for assignments, projects, and papers. Stop by the library, reference desk, or call 440-525-7425 to schedule an appointment for a 20, 30, or 40-minute session. The library is located on the third floor of the C building. Be sure to watch us live on www.livestream.com slash lakeeffect. Are you terrified of having interviews? Well, don't worry. Lakeland will be hosting an interview workshop. You can learn what to say, how to say it, so they say you're hired. Seating is limited, so hurry up and register at careers.lakelandcc.edu or call 440-525-7222. It'll be hosted on Friday, February 5th from 10 a.m. to noon in room A1039. That's Friday, February 5th, 10 a.m. to noon in room A1039. Come watch the Lakeland basketball teams as they take on Lorraine County Community College at Lakeland on February 10th. The women start at 5.30 and the men start at 7.30. You can listen on www.livestream.com slash Lakeland's Lake Effect Radio. Making a difference in the world starts with doing one thing, like recycling, baby. You we're listening to DJ Red on Lake Effect Radio. Keep rocking around the clock tower, guys. Attention students, Lakeland's admissions, counseling, registration, and financial aid departments have joined forces to establish the Student Service Center as a one-stop location for students. If you need admissions information, need help to register for classes, have financial aid questions, or want to sign up for a walk-in counseling session, the Student Service Center is the place to go. The Student Service Center, located on the first floor of Abel, Building at the clock tower entrance. You can follow them on Twitter at hashtag Lakeland SSC. I only feel angry when I see waste, when I see people throwing away things that we could use. The Lakeland Veterans Support Program assists veterans, guardsmen, reservists, active duty, and military families to make a smooth and successful transition into Lakeland Community College while supporting success in their educational goals and linking them to veterans and service member benefits. Lakeland awards college credit for military experience. Military veterans who would like to learn more about college credits and the benefits of starting college at Lakeland should call 440-525-7246. Additional resources for veterans can be found at lakelandcc.edu slash veterans. You're listening to Lakeland's Lake Effect Radio, the official home of Lakeland's Sports. If you want to watch and listen, you can tune it to www.lifeline.com slash Lakeland's Lake Effect Radio. Be sure to watch us live on www.livestream.com slash Lake Effect. All right, and welcome back. All right, so the last thing we wanted to cover, or at least I wanted to, was Cavs games. 
uh, there was one Friday night, one Saturday night. The f- the f- and the Friday one is the one I wanted to focus on a little bit more. Because that was... It, it was evident of what this team might have. Like, the, this team might have a problem. It, it, at least to me. Mm. The Celtics won 104-103 on a last-second three-pointer. Anyway, it was 103-102, I think. Anyway, they won by a point on a three-pointer. And you could tell from Fred McLeod, the guy who's doing the commentary, that he knew that the game was done for immediately. Like, as soon as that shot went up, he knew that that was in and that the Cavs lost. And I think that is evident of what this team has a problem with, which is trying to close out some parts of games against teams that they should be beating handily. The Boston well, Celtics are not necessarily the best team. They aren't the best team. Well, in they're the tied for third place in the conference. But the thing is, the Cavaliers should be able to beat them by at least ten points. And the Cavaliers, at they had a lead. Five. Yeah, the Cavaliers had a lead going in, like by the end of this fourth quarter, and gave it up. Mm-hmm. And the fact that that happened. Is, it just shows me that there might be a problem. That, it, like, is Teron Liu really the coach, or is, or should there be a, another thing? I heard that since Teron Liu became head coach, they've only had two practices. Two. Hmm. Which is very suspect to me. But then again, if you're... This team, I generally think that they have some problems with trying to mesh a little bit. Because there's, like, you have Kyrie, Kevin Love, LeBron James, a bunch of veterans, and you need that to mesh together. It's This yeah. is not a natural thing. It's not like a whole bunch of friends like Bosh, Wade, and LeBron back in Miami. This is not one of those, we're all friends, we can make this work type thing. This is more of a, let's all focus, get together hey, let's like do this scrimmage or this little thing. And I would love to see more of that happening. If they don't want to call that a practice, cool. But if you're... If, but the team needs to practice a little bit more. Yeah. And then yeah. there was the game Saturday night against the Pelicans. And beat the Pelicans rather easily. At, like towards the very end of the game. And... That, like, you, you, it gives you a little bit more hope that the Cavaliers will be able to be a little bit better going into, like, the str- final stretch of the season uh, after the All-Star game. I'm not sure when the All-Star game is. Does anybody know? No. no. Awesome. No. Anywho, uh, <coughs> we, we hope that the Cavaliers will be able to bounce back after the All-Star, All-Star game, say, I didn't hey, realize we have they this. played 50 games. Oh, yeah, that's... Yeah, so we're actually over halfway done with the season. So, this... We want to see this... 14th of February. 14th of February? Alright. So, there we go. It's on Valentine's Day. Ta-da. Alright. So, we're gonna hope that everything works out for the Cavaliers in the time being. They have a game tonight against the Sacramento Kings. Well, Kevin Love, something happened to him when I was walking out the door. Seen on a news channel. Yeah, like I, I saw him leave the game with like a, a hip pointer. Like I think I think they called it a left hip bruise. It was like a high thigh bruise, something like that. Which he should not be out for more than a game. And if you're facing the Kings, you shouldn't need him for the game necessarily. You have Tristan Thompson to back him up. You have. Uh, Mozgov, they c- they can all handle the inside. Kevin Love doesn't need to be there. Yeah, I haven't watched really a Cavs game fully yet. Yeah, Kevin Love probable for Monday's game, but Del Vadova is out. Oh, Delhi is out. Ooh, yeah. okay. Oh right, yeah, we might have to watch that to see what happens. I I mean, Mo Williams is cool backup for Kyrie Irving. Uh, he knows the offense probably very well, much like Teron Liu. He kn- probably knows Teron Liu's offense more than anybody else so we'll have to see how that works 
uh, that's going to be it for our show. However, we do want to say one thing. Uh, if you want to watch the basketball game, there's a Lakeland basketball game uh, coming up this Wednesday. Uh, that'll be at 5.30 for the women's, 7.30 for the men's. Uh, we will be calling that game and carrying it on our sports station, www.livestream.com slash Lakeland's Lake Effect Radio. So, I don't remember that off the top of my head. Very good. Yeah, okay. <laughs> See, he, not even our GM he, knew that, and he, I was bringing that You up. got it completely right. I have it memorized, too. Yeah, so uh, so we'll be calling that game at 5.30, We'll be carrying that on the live stream. You can, I'll, be, I'll be doing the commentary. I'll be there. Uh, I'll be along there. With, along with Tim and probably Bossman as well. Uh, so we'll be covering the games uh, and hope Psst. everybody... Mention that there's only two sets of games left this oh, yeah, Wednesday and, and next yeah, Wednesday. Yeah, there's only two sets it. of games that we will be calling. That's yes. This Wednesday... And then next Wednesday. Right. So, uh, do we... I don't remember who we're facing, though, this Wednesday. I think one of them is Tri-C. The okay, well, one of them is Tri-C, so that's... I'm pretty sure. Rivals. So, you do definitely want to catch that. <coughs> uh, and we'll be covering both games, of course, with our Lakeland well, Hold on, Lakeland hold on, radio hold on. Stream. Okay. For you... Yeah, tri C's it's always one late one in February. Okay, yeah, that, that makes so sense. So, one of them is February. Okay. We're going to the sports channel for those wondering. Yeah, okay, got it. Oh, Lorraine County. Oh, it's not Tri C. Huh. Ooh, really? Ah, oh, dang it. I blame Tom. He misinformed everyone. I also blame Tom. We're facing Lorraine County and Owens. Right, Owens Lorraine will be a good Owens. game. Owens, yeah, that should be a good game. Uh, and that will be for both, both teams, the both the men's and the women's, will be playing both Lorraine County women's and men's, and then Owens. Uh, Women's and men's. Yeah. So uh, come out. You can uh, watch the games. Uh, we will, and if, even if you can't come out, please watch our live stream. www.livestream.com slash Lakeland's Lake Effect Radio. Uh, and until next time, uh, we have some jerk, some jerk named uh, Assistant General Manager Tim Pringy. We have another Manager. jerk. Yeah, we have another <laughs> jerk. Uh, <laughs> it's already a train wreck. <laughs> you, your life is a train wreck. Oh! Yeah, all right. Anyway, we have a general manager, Jeremiah Morozik. I am DJ Grizzly, a.k.a. Tom, for the Bearded Gentleman Project. Thank you for listening, and until next time, peace out. You're listening to Lakeland's Lake Effect Radio. Imagine the opportunity to be the first in your family to earn a